Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a quiz by using Microsoft Forms. You can find this at forms.office.com. So let's go ahead and click on Create New Quiz. And let's change the theme from the default kind of greenish background to something a little more colorful. You can choose any of the colors or templates you see here. You can also upload an image of your own from your computer, from your OneDrive, or you can do an image search through Bing to find an image. In this case, I'll just use that fun little template. And now let's go in and title this quiz. Let's call it Fun Trivia Quiz number one. And you'll notice I can insert an image into the header if I'd like. In this case, I don't want to do that. And our description will be just for fun. Now let's go in and add a question. This is a quiz that I'm going to make public for anyone in the world to take. So my first question is going to be a text question in which I just ask for your name. I'll make that required and I'll give that a point value of zero. Now let's add the next question. And in this case, I'm going to start with a multiple choice question. And my question is going to be, where in the world would you find this building? Well, now I want to put in an image to represent this building in a question. Let's insert media. I want to use an image. Now again, I can do an image search. I can pull an image from OneDrive, or in this case, I'm going to upload an image that I have stored on my computer. And there's the image. Now let's put in some options. We'll give it New Zealand, Australia, or we'll say Hong Kong. Now I want to indicate the correct response for automatic grading, grading purposes. So that's our correct answer. Let's give it a point value of five points. And again, a required question. You'll notice there is an option for multiple correct answers. In this case, that's not something we're going to use. Let's add our next question. My next question is going to be just a line of text. And it's going to be, who was the second president of the United States? And rather than just having students guess at it, what I'm going to do in this case so I'm going to insert media in the form of a video. Now all videos that you insert into your Microsoft Forms have to be hosted on YouTube. I'm going to use this video. I'm going to paste in the link and add that in. And now my correct answer will be filled in. I'm going to use the five point value again and make this question required. So we have a couple of questions here in our quiz. We can repeat the process as many times as we would like. But now let's take a look at how to send out this quiz. In the upper right hand corner, we'll select share. By default, it's listed as only people in my organization can respond. I want to change that to anyone with the link can respond. Now I have a link for the quiz also see a QR code option, an embed code option if I want to put it into a website, or I can email it out directly. You'll notice we also have the option to share this quiz as a template. We can also share this with others to collaborate on it and have other people view it and edit. If you decide you don't want to do that anymore, just click on the delete button and you'll remove that link. Next, we'll take a look at the response page. 
So a student or anyone viewing this quiz will see it just like this. Let's say our student's name is Bob. Comes along and takes the quiz. Selects Australia. Puts in his answer here as Adams. Clicks on Submit. And instantly sees that he got 10 out of 10 points. And his answers were correct. Now another student might come along. We'll call her Susan. And Susan answers New Zealand. And Adams. Now she sees that she only got 5 out of 10 points. And she'll see what the correct response should have been. Now as the teacher, I'll click on my responses tab. I'll see my number of responses that have come in. The average score. I'll see that the quiz is still active. We have these nice little charts on our responses. We can now review those answers individually. There's Bob. And there's Susan. And we can go back. We can save this into a spreadsheet or we can post scores. Now if I post scores, I will, will have needed the email addresses for the people who have responded to this. So that's how you can create a simple quiz by using Microsoft Forms. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.